मेहमान खुर्शीद जी मानिकराव ठाकरे जी रेवंत रेड्डी जी उत्तम रेड्डी जी भट्टी विक्रमा जी और मैं इलेक्शन कमिश्नर से मिले तीनों इलेक्शन कमिश्नर सी सी मौजूद थे हमने आठ ज्ञापन दिए हैं आठ शिकायतें की है पहला शिकायत केंद्रीय गृहमंत्री के खिलाफ था उनके एक बयान को लेकर छत्तीसगढ़ में जो उन्होंने बयान दिया है उसके बारे में हमने एक ज्ञापन दिया है दूसरा ज्ञापन असम के मुख्यमंत्री जिन्होंने एक खतरनाक बयान दिया है वो भी कवर्धा में छत्तीसगढ़ में 18 तारीख को उसको लेकर हमने शिकायत की है तीसरी शिकायत जो केंद्र सरकार की ओर से जो सिविल सर्वेंट हैं जो रथ प्रभारी बनाने का एक नोटिफिकेशन निकाला गया है और जो हमारे सेना है जो सर्विंग ऑफिसर हैं उनको ये जो सेल्फी पॉइंट को लेकर एक नई योजना चलाई जा रही है उसके के बारे में भी हमने एक ज्ञापन दिया है चौथी जो जो शिकायत है मध्य प्रदेश के एक मुख्यमंत्री एक मंत्री के खिलाफ गोविंद सिंह राजपूत के खिलाफ एक एफआईआर दर्ज किया गया है उसको लेकर हमने इलेक्शन कमीशन को उनसे गुजारिश की है कि उस पर कार्रवाई करें और चार शिकायतें तेलंगाना को लेकर हमारे जो तेलंगाना के साथी हैं नेता हैं उन्होंने इलेक्शन कमीशन को शिकायत की है ज्ञापन भी दिया है और इनके बारे में मैं सलमान खुर्शीद जी से गुजारिश करूंगा कि आपको अवगत कराएं उसके बाद रेवंत रेड्डी जी और उत्तम रेड्डी जी आपको तेलंगाना के बारे में जो चार शिकायतें हमने की हैं उसके बारे में बताएंगे कुल मिलाकर आठ ज्ञापन हमने दिए हैं आज और इसकी जानकारी आपको मिल जाए सलमान खुर्शीद जी धन्यवाद अंग्रेजी में देखिए इंग्लिश में इंग्लिश में देखिए व्हाट व्हाट वाज इम्पोर्टेंट इन आर मीटिंग विद द इलेक्शन कमीशन टुडे वाज दैट नाउ दैट द इलेक्शन आर अनफोल्डिंग एंड नाउ द इलेक्शन प्रोसेस विल बिगिन द मडिंग ऑफ द वाटर्स बाय पीपल फ्रॉम अदर पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज फ्रॉम अदर पोलिटिकल पार्टीज must be must be immediately curtailed and immediately put to an end essentially what is happening is that leaders against whom we have brought these complaints to the knowledge of the election commission the chief minister of assam other leaders the home minister traveling to different states including the state of chatisgarh have taken up divisive and hurtful issues issues that would inevitably inevitably divert people's attentions from the issues that should be considered important for an election and cause division and polarization amongst the voters and this is what we brought to the election commission firstly firstly arguments that have been made or allegations that have been made that if anything has gone wrong anywhere in terms of law and order it is the responsibility not just the responsibility of the state but that the state is complicit in it now when such allegations are made without any basis whatsoever any truth at all that will inevitably affect the atmosphere in which the elections will be held so to have a level playing field and for people to be decide decide be able to decide fairly and objectively this would be completely 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 muddied by the kind of statements that are being made and we hope genuinely that the election commission will be able to do something about this even where uh, officially an fir has been filed against a minister in the government of the state election commission must do something in order that the filing of that fir doesn't become a parody it doesn't become an ineffect in ineffective infructuous matter so that the elections keep getting affected badly by what has been done so we hope that to put the record straight and to make sure that the election is held in a free and fair manner that the election commission will intervene thank you very much
we brought it to the notice of the election commission of india that elections have probably become most most corrupt in the state of telangana from the time this brs party has come to power we brought to the notice of the election commission that during the 2018 assembly elections while the election process is on right up to polling day government money is being distributed by bank transfers to the beneficiaries we have appealed to the election commission that other than pensions and such like humanity assistance from notification day till polling day to stop the disbursement of cash benefits from notification day to polling day which is about 27 days either do it before or do it after because this is what the government of telangana the present brs party has been doing for the last several elections and by elections then officers are being posted or have been posted before the schedule came in who are favorable to the ruling party we have requested that all sps and collectors be direct ips and is officers and as far as possible all returning officers also be direct ips and is officers we have also made a complaint about officers favorable to prs party being put in key election duties also the chief minister's official residence which are government building and mla camp offices which are government buildings are being used for political activity we have complaints against that also we have on the whole requested the election commission of india to intervene strongly to ensure free and fair elections okay we also brought to the notice of the election commission of india that several retired officers several retired officers are holding key posts who are working like ruling party functionaries we have said they must be shifted